Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. I do apologize for any echoes or any other type of audio visual issues in this video. I just moved in my new apartment literally two days ago and it took me two days to even get my computer working from random freezing and restarting. That was fun to deal with. Um, I have ordered acoustic panels for this room. I have more furniture coming as well. Um, so it's going to get le less echoey um, in the future, but I do apologize for this video. I'm going to try to post um, edit it out, but I don't know how good that's going to be, so I do apologize for that. Anyway, let's get straight into this. Today, um, a lot of people have asked for a tutorial over the development cited EUP for 5M, where it lets you use it for free without the Patreon subscription. Um, now, I would like to point this out just right away. You won't, I don't recommend doing this for public servers. It requires uh, you to be running Cannery Client. We're gonna go over that in a minute. But it also requires you to have a server slot of under eight people. Um, that number has fluctuated over the last few um, months. I believe it's up to 10 at one point. Um, but I always do eight because that's what the original number was. Um, so it, it does require a low server count. Um, and it also requires the client to be running in an experimental version, which is not always stable. So you just have to remember this is something that this really used for development and not a production server. If you're running a production server with public players, you probably will end up paying for EUP um, or the ability to stream clothing more specifically. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and get started with this. I also had another very common question with this is um, I can't, people have been having problems downloading uh, EUP stream. Um, now I'm going to, for me, it um, obviously is not downloading either. I, so you can see the EUP stream didn't download for me either. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click this and press copy link address. I'm gonna open up Edge because it just is a different browser. If you have any other browsers, feel free to use that as well. Just paste in that link and it actually will go ahead and download. I don't know why it has a problem with Chrome. It is really weird that way and I don't exactly know why. So I'm gonna leave this downloading on my other monitor for now and we're gonna install the other two pieces. Remember you also need native UI. I have a full video on installing this like step by step really, really, really well. Um, and I'll leave a link to that as well. Today we're just gonna do it a little bit quicker because this is more for a development sided um, part. So we're gonna go ahead and open up these two files with winzip, 7-zip, and I'm just gonna make sure in here, you can see the underscore underscore resource dot is there. So we're gonna drive this into our resources folder, and we're gonna go ahead and open our other file, which is the native UI itself. Remember in this case, there is a secondary folder within the main folder, and we're just gonna drag in native UI as well. In our server sock CFG file, we're gonna edit this with notepad and notepad plus plus, and we're gonna add those two things. We're gonna make sure native UI loads first, and then we're gonna load that EUP uh, resource, which is EUP-UI. Just gonna do EUP-UI. And then we're gonna ensure in a moment the next stream folder, um, which I'm gonna go ahead and open here, that is downloaded. So we're gonna drag in EUP-stream, and we're gonna do ensure EUP-stream, just like that. Go ahead and save our folder. We are good to go in there. Now we're gonna actually edit that file once more. I shouldn't have closed it that early. And we're just gonna scroll down until you see the um, player count lot. Um, so it's SV underscore max clients. We have to set this to something like eight. I believe it's eight and under. Um, again, it does fluctuate over the months uh, as 5M likes. So I'm gonna set it to eight players. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and start this server so we have it open in the background and we're gonna launch 5M. Now this is the next step we have to do to make sure our server is um, gonna be using the development version for getting this free EUP. Now I would like to point out if a player is not running the development version of the client, they're gonna see messed up uniforms if you are doing it in this method. So anyone you're testing with for this development method needs to also be running on the experimental client we're gonna show you how to switch it to that real quick, and then we're gonna go ahead and log into the server to ensure everything is working how it's supposed to. Um, so here we go, we're loading in to 5M's main menu. You're gonna to go to the top right, click settings, and then you're just gonna go ahead and scroll down to where you see update channel, and make sure you're on Cannery, the experimental slash unstable client. This is required for you to get this type of development. The reason why they do this is because obviously they don't want everybody just running servers with eight people, and bypassing Patreon. That's how they get their money. I kind of get it. As a business owner, I understand that. So this is how they do that. 
Anyway, I'm going to go back to the main menu. I'm going to log in to my local host server. There we go, YouTube test server. We're going to go ahead and connect to it. And the way we're going to test if this worked is run the EUP command. If we can see the uniforms without any issues, we know we have gotten the development version up and running uh, for testing uniform. All right, so we are in game here. And you can see if I type slash EUP, I open up this menu. I'm just going to go ahead and pick one of the random uniforms and give it a moment to load. And as long as you see the full uniform without any like weird um, clothing glitches or anything, you know you have done this successfully. I don't have Patreon, um, but I can still use the uniforms, which is pretty cool. Um, obviously, once again, to just reiterate, this is a development. This is for development reasons. It's not to be used on production servers. Uh, so I do recommend just being careful with that as well. Anyway, please let me know. I am working through all the comments if you have any suggestions for future videos by leaving them down in the comments remember to follow the comment guidelines which is a new thing youtube is trying out um, if you are posting a resource suggestion please leave the link to it um, it makes my job a hundred times easier trying to find resources people want me to go over i am working on the next esx video um, and a few other things so stay tuned for that again i apologize for the move and um, all my echoey i am working on it so thank you so much for watching today's video my name is noodle Thank you to Wolf for taking over the channel for the few days I was out, and I cannot wait to start college here and um, continue my journey on YouTube at the same time. So thank you so much for supporting us. I will see you in the next video um, in about two days, so I will see you then. Goodbye, everyone.